All right, we are now at Kern Raceway and I'm gonna let Mike try and sum up, let's sum it up, tell us all the things. Today? They've just gone this afternoon. Oh yeah, wow. As you saw, we had on you multiple other area. people's vlogs. Yeah. Asked when we got here, like, well, yeah, we hit the tire wall, got flustered, left. Tire road's still bent. We still need to replace that. However, drove. On the way here, because we hit the tire wall, we assume, and we're going so far, we'll go normal speed. Uh, I was doing 95 in American. In American, and uh, rear wing flew off. Bonnet shut itself down. Which is bad. Key, which is bad. You, For my car, key it's bad. was in the wrong position, so we couldn't get the car open. So we raced here to get to practice, couldn't get the car off the trailer to go practice. Practice ended, and here we are still working on the car. Yeah, and you know, everyone's <laughs> probably getting ready for dinner but no we've only all we have left is mike is actually sorting out my fan issue so hopefully i don't have to deal with this unhooking the battery all the time thing we have to fix it and i well i'm about to get started on the tie rod and we've cleaned the car yes it was oh my god it was <laughs> so bad it was so bad and we so, didn't have any water so we cleaned it using rags and some spray oh the uh the prisma right i think it looks sick. the prisma spray it's good yeah, stuff it's right? good yeah it and really it good. smells good right it's, yeah the bobber tea bobber tea yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep cleaning things and making things better and one of your friends is going to bring me a wing, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we going, are we going street driving? Get back to you, Barry. <laughs> Alright, day two uh, of this vlog. But well, we're here, LZ World Tour, I guess official day one, you call it. Um, just getting ready to go out for our first practice. Thankfully, I don't know if I talked about it on the vlog, but I lost my wing. But thankfully we got a new one. Thank you. Yeah, thanks guys. Uh, we finally went ahead and put the front lip on, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, the beauty of this track, there's no inner clips. So I've gone ahead and put the front lip on. So I'm happy that the car looks a lot better. And for everyone that's seen that clip of me crashing at Apple Valley, uh, I'll chuck it, well, you've already seen it earlier in this vlog. Um, I don't know if I explained it, but I, I just misshipped it. Anyway, we're gonna go head out now, get some practice laps, have some fun, and we'll see you out there. two steps back from the guardrail because we're not sure what's going to happen next as he comes through big flick from Luke Finkett to the first corner Are you huge surprised? I'm not surprised <laughs> oh Luke Fink yeah doing what we thought he would do I mean didn't get a back in but I'm sure it's coming as he gets through those three outside zones still on throttle transitions the car out floats it back on throttle again points the car at that line and that's where we want him to be on that outside edge but a little bit I mean it's a, it's got to be a Luke run if he hits something so good job there from Luke. Obviously going a little bit wide there uh, in zone six, but yeah, pulling the big oh, 360 there, there after the finish line for no reason. Yeah. It'll get him no more scores, but it will get him the fans' hearts, which is sometimes just as important. Up and in for Luke Fink, it is a 78-78 for Luke Fink. So a couple of little errors in there, but um, I'm sure he'll talk to the Australian. Mm. The man that can shake things up definitely in the tandems later on. It is Luke Fink. He's on his second qualifying run. His first run had a couple of errors. Wasn't perfect, wasn't bad at all though either. And Luke doesn't care about qualifying other than it being top. Nothing else matters. It's going for that big run. So he should probably go for a safe one, put himself in the top 13, but he's not going to do that, is he? No. So here we go. It is Luke Fink off the line, fires in that first corner very wide, big angle again. Oh, definitely throwing that car to the 
max. This is pretty much a jumped up street car, by the way. So he is getting everything out of it. This is a big run so far. Luke Fink putting on a show right now. As he transitions back, this is where he made a mistake the last time. Not so much this time. Late on the throttle, exactly what we want to see. This is almost inch perfect from Luke Fink as he fires to the outer zones on the track. That is a monstrous run in a car wow. that he has taken across the country on the street. There it is. It's One handed 360. Still has an app. And the wipers speakers. gone. <laughs> yeah. That's a big one. That is a big run. Uh, this is. This, I, I, I don't know how many people caught this, but in the Ben Hobson RTR announcement, Luke Fink was mentioned as one of the options. Yeah, but you see, they don't have those bumper budgets, and then there's Luke That's, Fink's that bumper budget. That was it. Budget. That was all it was. Yeah. They just they were like, we can't no, afford him. There would be no Mustangs left. Yeah, we that can't be, afford they, Luke Fink. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, oh, was it the electric car that stopped the Mustang? I was like, no, it was Luke Fink. He just crashed all of them. Every they, single in, in one. In one yeah. season. Yeah. They, Ford, Ford had to call yeah. down. Ford had, were producing more uh, <laughs> chassis than Vaughn at that point to keep him going. <laughs> but it's fun all the way, and it's a big score. It comes in at a 93 no. for Luke Fink. What? 93 on the board for Luke Vink in what is a jumped up streetcar. Impressive stuff. And we move on to our last two drivers. Which Hello, Mike. So I've qualified. All right. So update. I qualified third. Everything's all good. Everything's gravy. I qualified third. Um, Pulled the handbrake twice, but that's fine. We'll let you off with that. I know. My first handbrake in the lead position all weekend. <laughs> now nah, you killed it. I'm actually stoked for you. Yeah. Yeah, that was um, sick. But her broke his car, so... Uh, uh, there's, it's a long story. <laughs> He broke someone else's car. <laughs> it's a longer story than that. Luckily, I've had a few boozy ice teas and <laughs> somehow thought this is a great idea. So we're gonna get hurt in there because I don't. I just don't like seeing people sit by the wayside and lose because of like car crap. You oh, know what I mean? I owe you. Yeah. I owe you. I wait till you this get a nice legendary. car. That works that legendary steel. Luke Fink <laughs> has let me drive his car. I think you'll like it. Let's go, baby. You might be a big Corvette guy after this. I already am. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They are there. Does it not feel like an FD I feel inside? Home, bro. I think he's eyeballing us. I think. Oh, have fun, bro. I thought that was you. Uh, I, I didn't want to say anything. I'm I thought scared. that was you. Who is it? It's your fault. Do you know that? <laughs> what? Do you know why it's your fault? Yes, I do. No. It's freaking boozy. That's why you're not. Guys it's my fault. <laughs> Couple of these little boozy things, and I think it's a good idea to give hurt. Who just broke someone else's car? <laughs> my car. Can I the breezy car loosened you up. Please. Get I can, a little breezy. You've driven it. How good is it? It's great. I said, as from one co-driver to yeah. the next, That's you're going to do a great job. Yeah. yeah you're going to be Randy? All right. This is. Oh. Uh, what are you? What are you doing right now, bro? Okay, all y'all sound, all y'all smell like a rotisserie chicken that's been out too long. What? <laughs> Stinky. I don't smell. No, you always smell. You smell, wow, what? <laughs> Old Spice, baby. Thank you, you always Spice. gotta do weird shit. Because y'all don't wear deodorant. <laughs> and what are Wait, you, what? Huh? you talking about? Car enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, wait, just, hey. just for reference, he broke your car. What happened? What car? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what happened? Hey, bro. Yeah. Is he driving your car? Yeah, he's he's going out my car. <laughs> what happened? Transition blue? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fine. Can, can you, you film this? I need you. to just watch. You had another life in that car. It's Hurt, so Hurt is driving. Luke Fink's blue Corvette, doesn't have to make sense, and he's got a borrowed car, never driven a lap in this car before. Nope. He's still in the fight against Trevor Jameson, who's very familiar with his S14, with the one Jay-Z. And I'll be honest with you when I say that this is going to be a tough game for Hurt here, because new car, no idea what's about to happen. I'm not sure if he's even ever drifted a Corvette before, but here we go, we're about to send it. Trevor out front there in that black and green S chassis, obviously Hurt behind in the Corvette. Very, whoa, Hurt diving in hard. He is, uh, he's definitely harnessing his like inner Luke Fink driving. For, for somebody who's never driven this chassis before, this looks incredible from Hurt. Diving real tight there, Trevor on the outside line, putting down a great lead run right now, and making it a little bit easier for Hurt, making some big corrections just to get back in the chase, but we get a bit of a connection there. No, I think that's a, that, that, that's a, that's a some mechanical issue with Trevor Jameson. Oh. And you know... <laughs> Oh, 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 you didn't think about hey, that look, one. 
Good job, Nick. Yeah, that's the same thing. I was like, damn, that don't look like you drive. Okay. All right. It's it's. Uh, uh, Are the tears coming down yet? No, no. It's everything's <laughs> fine. Everything's okay. I think he's broke his car. Hurt's gonna go through. Like that's great. Her I'm very, very again. happy for her. <laughs> but he thinks he has to drive my car again. <laughs> very unhappy for I'm me. Really happy. Wait, am I happy? Yeah, that's am I really happy. <laughs> yeah, I am. Ha oh, he's broken axle, so he's done hurt oh, through. Oh, he did break axle. That Corvette's just a giant killer. <laughs> uh, I literally thought that was you. She's out now. Oh, that's yeah. her. So, that's so, a great car. So, <laughs> like, hey, one, one round. Yeah, I feel one suspension round. just engineering. <laughs> Soon to be a Magnuson supercharger. Let's go. <laughs> it's hurt proof. It, he didn't break it. The other car broke. Amazing. He broke the other car. Yeah, he looked at it. Looked yeah, at it sideways. He looked at it. Yeah. He looked at the other car and it broke. So. He has a problem breaking LF car. Yeah. Lie, and he didn't. Oh, wait, your car's an LF. Oh, he's. Car. Stop revving it or get off. It, it gets hot. He's hurt. Right, I barely like dry. I keep it as cold as I can. Right, hurt, relax. Um, His mom named him well. What? Yeah, I know. His right? Mom yeah. Named him well. yeah. There's a he reason. owns up she to the goes, name. My son's gonna grow up and break stuff. <laughs> for his entire life. Professionally break stuff. That's what he's gonna do for And it'll get covered. <laughs> and everyone's gonna love him. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's gonna, gonna love him. him. They're gonna be like, you love it because you break yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. And you're so nice when you break it. Oh, he's going for it. Good, good guy, good guy, good guy. Yeah. Good guy, good guy. Yo. How about that? <laughs> so he's, he's trying to fix his car, so. But you got obviously big advantage. It's like, oh. It's a good car, right? Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. This is my first time ever driving a Corvette. Yeah, and they're just, honestly, this lock kit that we put in, and obviously Odie's feels have been a game changer, but this lock kit, it's like, it feels like a stock car, but it just keeps going. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. I, literally every input you put into it, it does. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. It doesn't mean I'm not a good driver. It just, the car is very good though. Honestly, we spent, I've had this car for a few years now, yeah. so I've had a bit of setup time in it, and it, it's so good where it's at, like it really is. Hey, there's still a difference. You would have had two inches. I had, you know, I had some space. Yeah. So I got to clean it up a Which little bit. Which is a good thing to be fair, because he broke an axle. If I was there, I would have copped a wheel yeah. to the side of the car. Yeah, it was, it was tight. Yeah. I bobbled a little bit, but he, uh, he all the way. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, man. Both of these guys. We got Hurt and Dean Carney. It'll be Dean Carney in the lead position. Hurt in the chase, and Hurt is coming out swinging here. Let's see here, big initiation there from Dean, putting on the jets, but Hurt not letting him get too far away. Getting back on throttle, he's, I mean, he's keeping up with them. Horsepower-wise, there is a bit of a discrepancy, but you could not tell. Hurt is driving this car like he was born in it. Dean Carney trying to get away from Hurt, but he is not letting him. Dean with a... Ago. Yeah. Go back and watch battles from 10 years ago oh, and then oh, come back and realize yeah. how good we have it now. Second half of the battle underway. It's going to be Fink's car on the lead, but it's hurt behind the wheel. Carney in the chase. Let's see here. Dean diving in. Hurt getting out to that outside line. Dean not giving him much space, but shallowing a ton to get that proximity. Giving up a lot of angle to get in nice and tight, but as Hurt gets through our transition. He was literally flirting with them. His hand was out the window, like, come and freaking get it. How are you feeling? Stop smiling, I dare you. Dude, this is crazy. This is my first time ever driving a Corvette. Shout out, shout out Luke Fink for letting me continue. Um, it's a crazy situation to be battling someone like Dean Kearney in a 1400 horsepower Dodge Viper. I'm just happy to be here. Shout out LZ for throwing the world tour. Shout out to all you guys for being here and everyone watching on the live stream. We love you guys. Thank you, Cerise. And, uh, you know what? We have a decision dropping in. This will be going through to the final four today of the Last Chance Top 16. Winner is Dean Carney. Dean Carney gets the win and goes through.
beautiful. Nice job, Lou. <laughs> Australia versus California. Yep. In California. Two Huge core events. Matt Fields car running slightly more power. But this, is this the pro car or the practice this car? This is the practice this car. car. It's, it's actually a street legal car. They had uh, airbags in the oh, back. So both of these are street legal yeah. cars. It's impressive. So here we go. This one's going to be definitely interesting from the off. Fink thrown in the lead position. Field in the chase. Not letting them get away here. Luke Fink throwing up that 651 smoke once again. Matt Field is not going to let him get away. I. If I know that field, I know one thing, and that is he is going to absolutely door Luke Fink the moment he gets a chance. And let's watch for this transition. There it is, Matt Field right up on the door of Luke Fink. And let's see if we get a nice little push. There it is. Quick little tap. Put on a show. This is this is going to be a grudge match right here. What a bold statement, Dave. And let's see Matt Field out front, Luke Fink right there. Right on Matt Field's rear corner. And let's see, <laughs> once again, Luke Fink in there. Matt Field doing a great job getting into all the outside zones, but Right now, that doesn't matter because Luke Fink is trying to put as much blue paint on the side of that Borla logo as he possibly can. As a transition, oh, there it is, Luke Fink just booping the bottom of that other Corvette. It's, it's Corvette on Corvette action. It's, it's, a, it's Corvette on Corvette crime. Uh, just here, watch on the transition, boom, hits the back of Matt Field's car, hits some cones, and then uh, they stay in it all good until the end. These are two amazing drivers with current raceway. You're seeing greatness in front of you. Give it up for Matt Field and Luke Fink. The gentleman between which driver do you prefer? Was it Matt Field? Mr. FD? Or was it Luke Fink? All right, Matt Field wins. I'm just kidding. All right, everybody. Give it up for Luke Fink. Luke Fink getting the win, stock Corvette versus just a bit more than a stock Corvette. And they're going to go out here, and, and this is not going to be, we all say this is for fun. I can tell you two guys that are going to be pretty uh, excited to go door to door. And, it, and it's crazy because you've got an Australian and Irish man in two American muscle cars, which is interesting. Corvette and Viper, um, similar-ish horsepower, to be honest, because this isn't Dean's Formula Drift car, this is practice car. So this one's going to be, expect Harney to be right in the mix here from the off. Yep, Dean using that rolling approach there as Luke Fink, big initiation, almost up against the wall, and Dean Carney following in behind. Look at that dive as we're going to first outside zone. Oh, so close. Dean throwing it just a bit too hard against Luke Fink, who held out to the last minute before he got back on the throttle. Now Dean's going to play a little bit of chase. Could get a little bit dangerous. He already knows he's out in the chase, so what's Dean going to do now? Luke's got to finish it, and Dean's spitting flames out of that V10 as Luke gets through outside zone six. We're going to see a little tap here. Oh, super close. I, I, Very aggressive driver, which means he puts himself in the danger zone here. So let's see what happens in the second run. And Luke Fink pulling at Dean Carney with a rolling start. Big initiation there from Luke Fink right on Dean Carney's door. Can he hang on to it? Is Dean going to do the same thing that Luke did? Oh, they're able to hang tight. I mean, it got a little bit shallow there. Dean looks like he's struggling a little bit. So again, coming through, and then he puts down that V10 power. And now Luke. Just, just, <laughs> Luke's already got the win, but he doesn't care. He's, he's here to put on the show. As Luke really pushing Dean around the track. Are we going to get more contacts? There it is. I think at this point they're just glued together. <laughs> I thought Luke Fink was just going to hop into, uh, hop into the car with Dean by the end of it. That was a phenomenal finish to that run. I'm going to have a quick conversation with my, uh, my fellow judges, and we're going to try and come up with a decision on this one. Yeah, I think Luke Fink was pretty much ready to reach through the window and steer the car for him. 
So we get a couple of 360s here from Dean Carney. Lots of fire at V10 running real rich. So let's check this replay so you can kind of see what happened here. Good initiation from both. Luke has to hold on to the e-brake for a really long time. Really bobbles there from Luke Fink. Now, Dean did slow down a lot through that first outside zone. Now, Luke going for the proximity game at this point in time. So as we transition through four, you can see Luke basically behind him. Dean pretty shallow, adds a bit more angle into the car as our drone operator also trying to drive the car from him, <laughs> getting almost into Dean Carney's window. We get across the line there. So as Dave said earlier, they're really not putting a lot of points, uh, point deductions into our last outside zone just because you basically can't see it as you come through there. There's a lot of glare, a lot of rain on it, but looks like our judges have come to a decision. Yeah, we've had a little conversation about that one. Uh, we we're taking it very seriously, even though it's a fun event, just to make sure we get the right calls. And going through to the top eight is Luke Fink. Luke Fink gets the win and goes through to the top eight. So what we were looking at was their excessive slowing from Luke when he, you know, Dean had that problem behind him. And when we look at the other replay, Dean does exactly the same thing. Huge slowing down in that area. I think it's just the natural speed you're carrying versus the lack of grip. Fink higher qualifier in a streetcar Corvette against Matfield's practice Corvette. Definitely going to be mono a mono here. Fink throws it in. We've got Matfield behind. Whoa, what a transition. Matfield dives again, holds on to it, Luke Fink, oh! What was that? That one got pretty hairy very quickly. All right, let's take a look at this. What big transition there from Luke Fink, and then Matfield's way out in front of him, and then Luke tries to dive in. Matt kind of waves, says, sir, sir, there's the right away. And then Luke's like, oh, you're right. So yeah, I think Matfield just might have been too aggressive in it. Now the question is, was Luke Fink holding on for too long? That's really what it comes down to. So we might have to see that section of the replay again to really understand what happens there. But uh, yeah, Matfield just very, very much almost too aggressive. So we're going to find out here if they need a, a few minutes. Luke very intense. There we go. Here's the Luke we know. Yeah, we had a good look at that one, and uh, we'll be able to explain it at the end of the battle. But we have a decision on kind of who was at fault there. But again, this is the second half of the battle. Neither of these drivers are going to know that. Um, and I don't want to give it away either, so they have no information. So I really don't want to spoil these guys. Just I don't think they can hear you over, no, over the LSs. I don't think it's going to matter. We've got Matt Field now in the lead position, Fink in the chase. Matt Fields is going to be as aggressive. Well, Luke Fink is as aggressive as they transition back through. Luke Fink holding back a bit. Matt Field having to hold the breakdown, and then here we go. Right back at it again. Luke Fink diving in as we go to outside zone three. And now we're going to see Matt Field stretch the legs, and then Luke Fink start to dive in again. Both of these street legal cars with crazy delivery. Now Luke, Luke Fink diving right, right in on outside zone five. And uh, I was I was expecting just another little tap. You know, just a little little bit of connection there as they come back around. The judges are gonna have a discussion on this and see what happened in that first section. So we can watch the replay here from our FPV drone. Yeah, this is actually a phenomenal chase run from, uh, from, this is what we expected from the first run. This is a great lead run from Matt Field. Gives uh, Luke everything to work with here. You can see Luke just kind of wobbling a little bit. On the inside line, looks drier to me than the outside line. So what we're seeing is the, the chase car getting narrow. It's actually hard to keep the drift momentum going because okay. you're, you're picking up so much grip on the inside compared to the lead car, which is, again, kind of on the wet outer line. But uh, look at this point here. Matt just kind of slows down. Once he hits that wet patch, Fink does a good job of adapting to it. Um, and we've had a decision on the first half of the run as well. So this is going to be um, and he's we have a decision Cerise and going through to the final four is Luke Fink Luke Fink gets the win goes through to the final four and it all came down to that first run I think what happened was real spicy but we are now moving on to Odie Bakshi's and Luke Fink Two very different characters in the oh, sport of drifting. Could not be any more different. Could not be more opposite. This is Ying and Yang about to take to the track now, as Luke will be the higher qualifier in the lead position, Odie in the chase position. I am really looking forward to seeing what happens here. This is one for the fans. All right, Mr. Wild, Luke Fink out front, and Odie behind him, Mr. Controlled Chaos. And let's see there, what a great set of transitions. Luke Fink keeping that car on the track. The, the, tr the track is almost completely dry now as we see the Accelera tire smoke coming out from both cars. Luke Fink doing a phenomenal job through outside zone four and Odie Bakshi's mirroring him through the entire course. And now we see <laughs> 
just how phenomenal both these drivers are. That's phenomenal. That was that's great. That's unbelievable. I mean, if you're a fan of drifting, that's what you want to see. You yeah. will never see Luke Fink and Odie Bocci's ever battle, but I'm so glad that today we did because it goes to show the talents. Watch the transition from Fink here. It's so snappy that it'll catch out anybody, but not Odie. He <laughs> totally he knows exactly what Fink is doing, and he goes right back up onto the door again. Fink could be a little wider in some areas, but again, I, I think with the machinery he has, he's moving as much pace as he can through the course. He doesn't miss many zones. Odie does a great job here. This is where he really gets into it, up onto the door. Fink is, you know, this is perfect. From This is what we want to see from both of these guys. Um, it's very tight and very hard to call at that point. I mean, I'm probably going to go out on limb and say that, you know, Odie taking a slight advantage just from the how much aggression he had in the chase. But there's no way Luke Fink's not going to go for this in the chase position. There's, I mean, he's the type of driver that has something special to go and, you know, one-up this. Yeah. But it's one of those things where you can make contact and mess up too. So I'm excited to see what happens here. We swap him up. Odie Bakshi's Luke Fink chasing as they come out of the tire streets arch. Huge initiation there. But Luke Fink doing just as good of a job in the chase as Odie Bakshi in the lead. This is going to... It's going to be super tight as they come through outside zone three, up on the bank. Luke Fink not giving him much room to breathe. Great transition from both drivers. Luke Fink on that bumper as they transition into our last set of outside zones. Oh, they both loop it. They both loop it. Now, we are going to have to look at this and understand, was Odie already over-rotating and Luke Fink tapped him? Did Luke Fink tap him and Odie over-rotated? What comes first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah, I'm going to talk you through this one. This is one of the best chase runs I've watched in a long time. Fink does a phenomenal job. I mean, Odie's on a pretty good line. It's not even that perfect at times, but Fink is doing amazing. He's holding back on aggression. This is absolutely inch perfect. And then this is where it all goes wrong. He dives way too aggressive in on Odie, and then he hits the front wheel of Odie's car, which again, shakes the steering wheel out of Odie's hand. And, and I mean, that's only my opinion. It's not the opinion of all the judges. We're gonna have a good conversation on this. But up until that point, regardless, I mean, we can get into all technicalities and clips and whatever we want. That is why we watch drifting, for moments and battles like that, because that was two guys giving it 110%. We have a winner, and going to the final will be Odi Bocchis. Odi Bocchis gets the win and goes to the final. Um, and you guys probably saw it, you know, the, the two judges, Sean and Jason, would be the same thing. Up until that point where he hit Odi, Luke Fink had that battle in the bag, no questions asked. That was the best chase run of the day. But that's what happens when you get that aggressive and that dominant that you can make one little error. And he just hit the front of Odi's car. It took the wheel. You could see Odi's hand jump off the wheel, so he lost control. Um, and again, that's handed the win to Odi Bocchis. But and Nate was doing pretty much everything. But I think Nate's got to, you know, be a little bit more aggressive here as well. He's got to go for it because Fink is definitely going to. This is what it's all about. Third step on the podium up for grabs. All right, this is it for these drivers. So Luke Fink, big, big initiation. Nate Hamilton now starting to reel it in as they get through the last wet section that we've got on track. And Luke Fink full throttle all the way through outside zone three. And there's Nate Hamilton with an incredible transition. Almost no room between them. Reels him in again, gets back on the throttle. Luke Fink all the outside line. And Nate Hamilton diving in. Can he close the gap before the finish line? Yeah, and it's, you know, it's funny, it, we rerun the, and it's exactly what we wanted to see. So yeah. Fink makes no errors in the lead position whatsoever, giving Nate all the opportunities. So now if Nate isn't aggressive, that's not Luke's fault, that's his fault. But I gotta say, it looked to me like Nate left the line a little bit late, he left a bit of a gap there on the initiation, and that's a, a risky part of the track that he sacrificed in pressing us, that he wasn't there. But from here, Nate does a great job. He knows he's gotta be close. And this transition here, boom. If I had a nice GR86 like that, I would not be doing that. And as a transition back, Nate again takes a risky move but Fink's on a perfect lead run here really really smooth you know this is exactly what we wanted to see so now we have a much more aggressive chase run from Nate Hamilton we can you know we get to see what he's all about but still Fink has in the locker what he did the first time if he can pull that off again that'd be the win for him but can he do it twice? That's not easy. You can make contact very easily doing that. You saw that against Odi Bocchis, that Fink pushed too hard and knocked himself out of that battle. So I think this one's going to come down to Nate Hamilton trying to put that beautiful lead run together again. And Fink, well, he knows that Nate's consistent. He has no option now but to be on the door. This is the way you take your phones out. This is for the highlight reel. One way or another, Fink is going for this one. There is a little bit of room. There is an opening, especially through that initiation and transition point. Nate was a little bit further back. So if there's anywhere Luke can make up that 
background, it's going to be there. It's going to be at initiation to our first outside zone. And the best part is that is where Luke has been crushing. Yeah, see, Luke is very close on initiation. He's not letting the lead car get away. Nate sort of waits for that first corner to almost be done with, and then he starts to make his move. Yeah. So that's somewhere Fink can get an advantage if he does that. But again, it's very risk-reward the way Fink's driving. It's very on the edge. He so easily can just plow into the lead car and cost himself the battle. So everyone here in attendance at home and us here in the tower, I'm sure we're all watching this one very closely. All right, let's see if Luke's going to do what we think he's going to do. And there he is, right at initiation, right on Nate Hamilton's door as they transition out a little bit later for Luke Fink, but then dives in exactly what he has been doing all day. Nate Hamilton laying down a solid lead run right now, getting all the way out to the wall, but <laughs> Luke Fink providing no reprieve as they transition through four. Big left foot break there from Nate Hamilton to try and get the grip under control. And then Luke Fink back on the door. Here he is, ready to push Nate Hamilton across the line. That is the battle we're looking for. You're out of one more time. Yeah. Good luck, Dave. Yeah, and I think you, you'll probably agree if you're watching on that that was a far easier decision than the first one. And Luke Fink Jeez. almost absolutely smashes the back end off the media area. So uh, the, the adrenaline's running high right now. And again, it should be. It's third step on the podium up for grabs. Luke Fink throws a master class down here in the chase. That being said, Nate Hamilton out front doing everything he needs to do to get a phenomenal run together. Super deep on outside zone one, nice and deep on outside zone two. As they come up to the wall, very deep in outside zone three. While Luke Fink is deciding to push in those brand new fenders. Outside zone four, same thing. And here we go through the last part of it. I, Luke Fink, I don't think he knows how to measure in anything but like millimeters. That's all he does. It's what it's all about. And you know, Therese, that was a much cleaner set of battles. I think that was definitely, everyone in current raceway is going to agree, that was the battle of the day today. Well, we have a decision. It's for third step on the podium. This time it is a decisive winner. Taking third step is. Luke Fink! Luke Fink gets the win! Luke Fink gets the win, takes third step on the podium, and totally well-deserved, ah. Jacob. Let's be honest. It was exactly what we wanted to see. Yeah. Clean lead, clean chase. We were just discussing that the best lead driver of the entire weekend was Nate Hamilton, and the best chase driver of the weekend has been Luke Fink. And the reason that Luke is so good in that battle is because of Nate. He gave him such a crazy run to work with, but again, you give the Australian man that much room and that much precision, he'll he'll bite you, and that's what he did. And Luke put on a masterclass. I mean, that was, if you think about that car, I mean, he's driven this across the country. It's a street car, it's got a stereo in it. Like, it's a proper normal car with air conditioning. Nate's car is a full-on competition car, but also, Guys, give it up. Luke putting in some amazing runs all weekend, and we're going to give him his trophy because he deserves it. Guys, give it up for Luke Fink. Definitely the chase run of the weekend in that blue Corvette or whatever's left of it at this stage. An amazing job from Luke Fink. He always puts on a great show. And that brings us to the last...